This week on Sailing Lady Africa, we fit in our appliances, Ricky does some routing work, test out our saloon table, and show you some before and afters. So 12 o'clock, lunch time. The missus packed me in some lunch. So I'm gonna have lunch now. While well, the missus is busy working at making you guys a video. I'm gonna say a big thanks to everyone that's been supporting us. A uh, couple of last weeks have been really tough on us with everything going on, politics, all the behind the scenes stuff. But we're pushing on and the boat's looking great. It was time to fit in our appliances. Can you pass me a beer, babes? Imaginary <laughs> beers. So once we're done epoxying, this is what it looks like. And you can see it's, it's relatively rough. And um, so what we'll do is we're going to take a router to all these edges, there, 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 back here, and we'll round them all off nicely, including this one. So yeah, I'll show you that update now. So after about half an hour, 45 minutes of sanding and after we've, we've cut, routed the edges. So after routing our sand to make sure that it just blends in a little bit better and it's super smooth as you can see here now. And um, so this is only the first stage of sanding. So that's what the edges look like pretty much afterwards. So still got a few more and we've done all the edges here as you can see. We've done that edge, these around here and along this edge here. This one still needs a bit of sanding, that's rough. So yeah, so that's the first stage of sanding. And now we'll go and we'll fill all the little pit holes, if there are any pit holes, we'll fill that up again. Sand again, primer, sand again, and then touch up with primer again, and then uh, two coats of final. We'll do one coat of final, and then finish up everything on the boat, and then do that final coat just before we, pretty much after the wiring and everything's been done, just so we don't have to, hopefully, that best case scenario will be like that. Once our appliances were fit and measured, we could start building up the framework for our cabinetry. Ricky started sanding to prep the area for some paint. We decided to do the paint first as it would be easier to get paints in all the nooks and crannies. Ricky's always excited when he gets to paint. It was then time to template and cut out some solid panels to close up the areas that we didn't want exposed.
this is what we've done up to now. We've built the base and we've primed that yesterday, which you guys saw. So, so that's nicely coated. We'll give it another coat once, once we're completely done with everything, but I at least wanted to get a good solid base coat in. So we'll build this up and so there'll be access underneath the washing machine and there'll be access underneath the fridge and we're going to run plumbing in there or well, right at the bottom we'll run plumbing and right above it we'll run um, electrical I found these little clips which I'll show you later that's going to hold the, the flex piping that's going to go in there and then right over here it will be the outlet of one of my pipes and that'll run up here and we'll We'll mount a gas geyser over here or a water heater, whatever you want to call it. South Africa we call a geyser water heater. So we'll mount that over here. And then where you see that mark running, that'll be the top of the counter. And so it will literally have like a lid that closes on top of the washing machine. So you won't be able to see the washing machine. And this front panel here will be closed. And this half will be open, which will be where the fridge is. And back will close up nicely. Put some insulation on the hole there. Um, so that light that you see coming through there, that's the anti-fouling that's that's rubbing off. But that's about 150 mils uh, above what the water line actually is. So the water line is actually on that floor line over there inside there. So yeah, they painted the the anti-fouling a bit high, but we're going to keep it like that. So there's Simone, and that's what our washing machines look like when the washing machine in the fridge. Because we're busy fitting them so we can have the perfect sizes. And Simone's busy working on the on the video for the patrons. And um, me and Moses are busy doing this work. So I just finished doing the mock-ups and the cutouts. So that's our mock-ups for our two access panels that will be under the machines. And none of those panels sit below a support point, um, or they could, because they're strong enough. So I've done the cutout, and I've put in some braces on the sides to support the doors. And um, let's see if I can get one out before, okay. So that's pretty much what you have. And um, so you've got access to the bottom, because there's, So that's the inlet and overflow to the tanks, uh, well to, to the starboard side tank which is 300 litres. So that's why I need access to it. So I can open there, access, it's just, there's only two fittings that go in there, it's two clamps. So I just need to have access to be able to tighten them and inspect them. And then they go through that bulkhead and they go up and One's the fill, so it's the top one, and one's the overflow, so that little hole that you see open going through the hole there. So yeah, so that's what we need access there, and I need access to check the cabling, check piping, anything that's going on in there. And then I'll fit in a vent and a quick access over here also. So you'll just be able to just open up, have a look that everything's fine, close up, you don't need to access those. And when you want to do major work or whatever not, you can remove the machines, or at least the fridge, and you can inspect if there's any other problems then you can remove the washing machine. So that's what we've got now, we've got two finger accesses into there. Um, so you'll pretty much just put your finger in there, like that. Um, those braces haven't been epoxied in, that's why you see a little bit of flex when I was cutting them. But um, once we epoxy the whole base in, so I leave epoxy right to the end, build the front edge, then I epoxy all of that at once, and uh, that's when I'll epoxy those braces in. They'll be super strong. Once, once they epoxy in, there'll be almost no flex in it at all. Since everything had been cut and sized, it was time to put it all together.
So we're busy doing the final assembly now. And so what you saw before when we were putting things in without glue, that was the mock-up and we put the machines in. And so that was just to make sure that the first lines, the first set of lines that we drew, everything comes out perfect because you don't want to close everything up in epoxy and then obviously the things are out. So now we've done the done all of that, putting everything in now with epoxy and with glue. So these get all get glued and the main ones along the sides got epoxied. So yeah, this is the final build-up now. I think it looks pretty cool. Show everyone our cool washing machine is in. Grab the washing for me, hun. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> so this one rests against the front here, the stopper. And the only thing we've got to do is put in the back stopper. And the side one will take a just piece of wood that will get screwed down there, which will prevent it from sliding over. And then the second machine comes in. Explain to people why you decided to make this um, cabinetry for the appliances instead of just putting it like a lot of people do. Well firstly if we build it as part of the cabinetry it rounds everything off a little bit better. And then this will be nicely closed up so you won't really know that there's a washing machine. You can use the countertop space to do whatever you feel like doing with it. If you want to come and do, once the it's got the counter cover here, if you want to come and do some chart work or whatever, you could probably yeah. work on top of that. What's nice for the ladies is that if it's closed over here, you open it up, take out your washing, and then you can plop it there if you need to sort out as you hang or whatever. So I thought that was no, pretty cool. It still needs to be closed over here though. I'll need to put the panel in that side and the trim on the edge here and then the lid on that one and this one also gets a lid and over here I'll be building the there's a there's a setup coming here and there'll be a water heater over here and all the piping all the plumbing will come here and this will be the back of where the shower so the shower is inside there the I think in America you call it the faucet or in South Africa we call it the mixer. The mixer will come out here with all the piping, so feeding directly the hot water into here, directly to the shower, because this is where it's going to use the most hot water will be the shower. And then I'll run a hot water line through the hole that's there, and that's also our supply line. Um, we'll run in and out of this. And all of this is accessible, even though when once we're done with the boat, nothing is in a place where you can't get it without having to cut cabinets. I built it in the sense that you can access everything at any given time. Even the wiring, even though we are going to run it in looms, you'll have access to it in say 80% of the place where it runs. You'll always have access to the wiring. I just feel it makes sense to have it like that and that's how I wanted mine done. We decided it was time for a clean up. So I was in charge of organizing all our tools. Ricky was in charge of vacuuming and Moses was in charge of making sure all the dust underneath the cabins were vacuumed up as well. decided it was time to test out our saloon table which will also opt out as a panel to make our seating area into a sleeping area and it is also extremely lightweight. It's really strong. Seeing our first videos we can truly see how far we've come from ripping out so many cabinets and rebuilding ours moving our galley to our saloon and vice versa.
And if I'm losing my mind Would you lose yours with me? You made me want to melt Like water in the pain It's hard to keep my cool Knowing I'm your man So let's spend some time Wasting it away Your love is like music You went and changed the game We're breaking all the rules Our side signs don't match Immigration issues Trying to prove I'm with you I'm gonna miss you Well, I hate to see you go We've changed our head and removed the bath and we'll be adding in a shower. But at this moment there's nothing in it. In no time we gon' be right back. Right by my side like a monkey on my back. It's been a ride and we know it near time. I guess you need the lows to know you're right. It was time to get sanding because we decided it was time to prep up our saloon seating area so that we could add a layer of primer. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below if you haven't already and give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to become a patron, there is a link in the description below.